So we went to the viewpoint for Isengard, which was just very misty, but it's kind of over there. But you can't tell it's Isengard at the minute. So. Yeah. We're just gonna go do some work while it's raining. Good views, proper food. So we just had a really nice, surprisingly good dumpling and steam bun lunch. Yeah, um, and the weather has no idea what it wants to do, it doesn't have lots of rain, it'll be sunny. So we're gonna attempt to do a little bit of the Glenarchy walkway and the lagoon walk. Probably just the shorter southern one because uh, it means the less chance of getting wet. views along the water. So it goes along past the river and then goes up to the lagoons. Mm. Yeah. And the dark clouds. So we're going to have to use our imaginations. In that <laughs> is uh, where the representation of where Isengard is. Now they digitally recreated it to kind of create the view actually in the films. But like in there is the veil of Isengard. And this area has a few different places where they did do some filming. So like over there, there was like Lorothy and there's a few other, that's like where uh, is it Amon Hen, the place where Merry and Pippin were caught by the Urukai? So, yeah, there's plenty of stuff around here, but you just gotta choose the right day. And the rain is starting to come. We went over there earlier, and it was just, you couldn't see, you know, 10 feet ahead of you, so we thought we'd try and come for the view. You can just about see the mountains, but yeah. Nice area. Yeah. That doesn't really show you much there. little stretch of this walk. Nice boardwalk. Mountain views. Now to go back to town. So we stopped to have a little nosy around the uh, Mrs. Woolley's general store, which is very cute. We've got some nice stuff. We've got a cookie and a drink. Now we're all refreshed. And now we're driving back along the lake. Um, we're going to stop at 12 mile Delta DOC Camp tonight. Yeah. Gotta stop on the way first. Yeah, stop in at Bob's Cove track first. If we can get to it. Yeah, if we can park because it was very busy yesterday. Hopefully the weather puts me off. <laughs> Did you just call and bump the audience? Yeah. Anyway, try. So Alex and I have come down to the Bob's Cove track. I think we're gonna do just go to the uh, jetty direct and see what it's like. It's come out really nicely today. It said it was gonna be raining in the morning and then dry off in the afternoon. That's exactly what it's done. So uh, yeah, we put sunscreen on, put some bug spray on. And we're just gonna see what we can uh, go down here. And then our main, uh, well, the place we're sleeping tonight is only a few minutes down the road, really. It's not that far, is it? You can walk in, in I think yeah. it said an hour and a half? Yeah, you can walk in a couple of hours along Bob's Cove track to the 12 mile delta site. Yeah, so we're not going to do that. We're going to drive because then we'd have to walk back and we don't have camping stuff. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, well, come along. Bob's Cove, really nice and calm and flat for swimming. And it looks quite deep as well. There's our camping spot for the night. 12 mile delta. There's like 100 places here, so there's loads of room. But we're gonna go pay and then go see over there. There's a beach. 
let's see if it looks like we can swim. If not, we can walk. And now we're back to Box Cove and go for swimming. Hey, so we decided that it was a bit too windy over there. The water's still nice, but a bit windy and wavy. So we're going to walk the hour instead to Box Cove. Which is where we just went. Yeah, which we could drive to in five minutes, but we're already parked up, so. So yeah. I thought we'd stretch our legs because we haven't walked much the last few days. Gonna walk this way. Although yeah. we did grab something, didn't we? Yes. What did we grab? Beer. We grabbed beer. Mm. And we're probably not allowed to drink beer in the public, but do it anyway. Hi, so another thing that is filmed in this general area, we've gone along a bit, walking towards Bob's Cove, is the scene where Sam tries to teach Smeagol slash Gollum about uh, potatoes and the whole potato. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's kind of, based around the river, it's based around this area. It says specifically, it's down there somewhere, I just don't know. So it's somewhere around here. There you just found a little corner to settle in and Sam tries to teach Schmeagle about potatoes. You boil them, you mash them, you stick them in a stew. Another thing for this area, is by the campgrounds just behind this big thrush is the uh, Lerithian, which is mostly known as where Sam and Frodo see the Oliphants for the first time and where they watch the mercenaries do battle with some of the people from Gondor. But it's all just kind of the generic area. There is the spot where you can see, you can find exactly where the, uh, they stand but it's kind of in a bunch of brush and I don't really want to walk through it. But it is just a bush. <laughs> so yeah, I want you to imagine Sam and Frodo somewhere along there and just watching the elephants. And you kind of go, yeah, that's this sort of location. This is a very likely candidate for where they would watch the elephants walk past. Now let's come to Big old elephants. Big old elephants. That's ridiculous. So, we've made it down to where we're going to sit. And we're going to go and enjoy the water. Through. So yeah, 
up we go back to the main road and then up we go might take us a little while we got enough chuck Absolutely gorgeous. And the campsite's over there. Campsites aren't um, that flat. The view is lovely, but we think we might go back and stay at the other one purely because in the morning we have to go back to Queenstown fairly early so we can check in to Q Box again as we've got a wine tour. So just for ease, so we don't have to do that road in the morning, we might go back and stay at the other one. We are going to go do the loop trip that goes around the lake so we can enjoy all the views of this beautiful area. Uh, but first, so we're going to do the Moke Lake loop track, 2 hours 30. It's very pretty around here. Now walking on the middle section. There's a guy running behind us. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's definitely a hot one today. Very warm. We've got all along that cliff face to walk. And it's been nice, but because you're kind of walking along the same section, it, the view doesn't really change. It just kind of slowly migrates. It is nice to stretch your legs. We think after this, what we're going to do is uh, go back to this swimming spot that we went to yesterday, Bob's Cove, just because it was really nice there. Mm. Uh, go for a swim in this stifling heat. Then we are probably going to go back to the original campsite because we could camp here, but there's no, Besides the location, there's no real benefit to it because it's the same price and the same amount of facilities, really. More parking spaces than the other one. But we have to go into Georgetown early tomorrow because we've got a wine tour booked. So it's like a wine and food tour. So we have to be the, like meet the people at like 11.50. So we need to find, well, we're, we're going to go stay at the campsite we were at before, the Q box. So we're going to go drop the van off there be vast we can do early check-in which is nice might have a quick shower then we are gonna head to our wine tour it's a wine and food tour so I, I expect to be filled with wine and food um, but no that it's, it's gonna be gonna be hopefully a good day okay. but yeah we thought we'd the other ones a bit closer to the road we'd have to go through the gravel bit so we'll do all that today but yeah I'm looking forward to the swim now I'm getting yes. hot I think I said it was like, it's not that hot, hot. It's like 26, 27, 28, something along those lines. Um, but again, we said before, it's like New Zealand, it's just the UV. Yeah. Like you can, you just, you just feel the heat more because the UV is that much more intense. Unlike kind of some other places where the heat's there, but the UV is like, you know, okay. You don't instantly burn. If you don't put sunscreen on, you instantly burn. Everyone wears five to fifty. Yeah, like I'm a bit. Hey, I'm a little bit like uh, lax with sunscreen normally. I'll put on. I like factor fifteen or so. Um, slightly olive skin helps, but no. Alex has, and I both use fifty here and apply it liberally. Mm -hmm. Right, almost with the walk. Enough talking. As I say, it is still a nice walk, 
and that looks very refreshing at the moment. And you can go swim in it, but the other one I think is still nicer. Hey. Hey. So yeah. we've uh, come back down to Bob's Cove. It was a lot busier than yes. yesterday because obviously it's a Saturday and it's brilliant sunshine. Yeah. So it's going to be busy. It is, but we've got a spot just. So I'll uh, go down and see what the water's like. Still very nice. Still very, very nice. <laughs> Come back down to Bob's Cove. It's a lot busier today. And a lot more boats, but it's still really nice. And it's still a lot busier for this sort of beach. Yeah.